Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm so excited to have this channel. I just feel like it's going to be a really fun place where I can share like obviously hair and makeup and beauty tips and skincare tips, but also just like a fun place to have a laugh. I don't want it to be like too serious and I just feel like it's somewhere where I guess you can get to know me, like the real me, an unedited sort of raw version. I have so many cool things that I want to do with you guys and show you guys, obviously all in good time. Today's video is just a question and answer. So I put a um, I put a question box up on my Instagram story and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to read out some of the questions and just give you give you guys the answers. All right, let's get into them. The first one, really cute. I like this one. Why do you love makeup so much? I don't know. I just like I love when I have like my makeup on. I just feel so good. I feel like just a better version of myself. I mean, I like not wearing makeup as well, but I like the feeling that it gives me. It gives me confidence and I just like it. I feel good in it. Favorite person from maths? Well, Michael, obviously. Oh, he's a really good question. I love this one. What's your favorite thing and why? <laughs> like, <laughs> how broad is that? Like, I just spat everywhere. <laughs> like, what's my favorite thing? Fucking white bread. What is my favorite thing? I don't know. Oh, what about this one? What's your favorite thing about Michael? Well, right now, absolutely fucking nothing because I'm about to wring his neck. No, no, that's not true. It is kind of right now, though, it is. How did you learn makeup? The thing with makeup is it's like something that I just sort of like, it just came to me naturally. I just always could do it. I don't know. I remember, I think I was 11. And my mum bought me a black eyeliner. I remember it like it was made in Germany, this black eyeliner. It was a really creamy coal eyeliner. And back then, I used to just do the all around the eye. And I remember one day seeing like a movie. I think it was like one of those old movies with like my grandparents. And the girl had the eyeliner on top of her eye. She had a winged eyeline, eyeliner. And I practiced it. And I just started doing the winged liner. And then from there, I just wanted to take it to the next stage and the next stage. I even remember like my first eyeshadow palette. It was a Revlon eyeshadow palette. It had four colors in it. They were all neutral. And I used to do mine and my friend's makeup with this one tiny little palette. Like eyebrow, I used it for eyebrows, bronzer, for everything. It was the smallest little palette. How much of maths was scripted? All right, I don't know if we, should we get into the maths questions? Like, should I get into them now and do one chunk of maths or what? Just keep answering questions. All right. Look. How much of maths was scripted? Everyone keeps asking this and everyone keeps asking me, is it fake? Is it scripted? We don't read a script. There is not a script and we're not fed lines. Uh, I think it's safe to say that a lot. some of the storylines are sort of encouraged, but it's not scripted. It is reality TV. Everything we said came from us. So, yeah, unfortunately, I mean, I'm embarrassed to admit that, but that's the truth. If you could have got with another husband on maps, who would it be? None of them. Rancid. Thank fuck I didn't get another one of those husbands. Who's the biggest snake on maps? Oh, I really want to say. Should I? No, I can't. No. No, I'm not. Dave, don't. I'm not going to. No, I can't. It'll just be all out war. No. Nah. Say it, we'll edit it out later. You know what, I'm going to do one version of doing it. Yeah. Who's the biggest snake on maths? Personally, for me, I don't know if snake is the right word, but bully. For me, I found Jules to be the biggest bully. I felt like she really iced, you know, she iced Jess in S and I out and like, really were just I feel like she was the reason for the divide between a lot of the girls because she just was so self-righteous and I just feel like she made the other women who did want to be friends with us and who did hang out with us almost feel like ashamed to um because I know for a fact I had a good relationship with Heidi even Ning me Ning and I used to have a laugh I mean Cyril and I were friends before you know she's hit the fan but anyways maths I'm, I don't want to really talk about maths 
are you and Michael still married or just dating? Well, this might come as news to you guys, but the wedding's a fake. It's a reality TV show. It's not a real wedding. So we're just dating. And that's enough for us right now, because... What's your star sign? Gemini. I can, like, I already know how many people are rolling their eyes and saying, Oh my God, that makes sense. Of course she's a Gemini. Cheap Kim Kardashian. Dude, that's not a question. I'll take it though. I'll take it. What age did you get your nose done and how was the healing process? I feel like I'm going to do a whole video on all my, like, on the surgery because I promise you if there's 10,000 questions here, 5,000 of them are to do with plastic surgery. But I was, I think I was 21 or 22 when I got, 22 when I got my nose done. I got my nose and my boobs done together. Do you regret how nasty you appeared on the show? Like, personally, I don't even think I was that nasty on the show. Like, I actually think I was quite nice. Like, I mean, I was just like being a nice friend. What's your favorite food? I really love hot chips. And you know what my favorite food is? Like if my favorite thing that I could have every day is a really, really nice, tasty, like salad sandwich. Like, oh, give me that. How has everything been going with you and Michael after the show? I mean, we're really good. It's, everything's been like perfect so far. I mean, we have arguments like we're having right now over really dumb, 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 stupid little things. But that's like what relationships are about. I feel like that's normal. It's healthy. Can you upload an everyday makeup look, please? 100% it's coming. Are you and Michael still together? Or was it just fake? Like, I don't know how to give it to you any better than... Babe! Babe! Yeah. Can you come here? So, are, we, are Michael and I still together? Babe, just come say hi to me. Just little, because we're fighting. But here <laughs> he is. Say, just say, say hello. Hello. Babe, are we still together? Yeah, we are. Is this fake? Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. No, it's not. It's real. 100% real. No, it's 100% real that we're going to kill each other like by the end of the night. That's 100% real. Yeah, that's why I'm going to leave now. Alright. And leave you to your video. Okay. Are you going to go any further now though? Yeah, but that's all you need. Yeah. All right. Alright. How's it work, huh? Let me know when, when you're finished. No, mm. we're, we're fighting. That's yeah, no, it. We'll have to punch on more, is what I mean. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm exhausted from yeah, fighting. Yeah, finish this and then like, we'll... No, 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 that's it. I leave for Sydney tomorrow at 5am. That's why I'm coming, coming back. No, you're not. Yeah. That's, I'm done now. That's it. We have to fight for 10 days straight. <laughs> I'm not ready to just do forgiveness. <laughs> no, you won't, babe. I'm borrowing your phone number from Optus. <sighs> Don't kiss me, good mate. Don't blow kisses. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's three hundred dollars I wasted for three minutes of his time. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Thanks, Dad, for paying for Michael's stand-in. <laughs> Are you trying to look like Kim K? No disrespect. I can't with the Kim K version. It's like, am I trying to look like her? No. I just have dark hair, thick eyebrows, a small frame and a fat ass. I can't fucking help it. Like, definitely not trying to. Have you seen the movie Failure to Launch? You should watch it. It's really good. <laughs> I'm Failure to Launch. Skin routine, it's coming. 100% my skin routine is coming. I literally have like a 45 minute skin routine morning and night. It's quite sad, but it's true. What do your parents and family think of you being 30 and still living at home? Should we find out? Dad? Dad? Mom? 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 Well, my sister hates that I live at home. That's obvious. She has blocked me off Instagram, uh, Facebook, and I don't even think she has 
my number. Yeah, it's true. Mum, what do you think, what do your parents and family think of you being 30 and still living at home? What do my parents? No, what do my parents think? Like, what do you guys think that I'm 30 and still at home? Like, we don't care that you're here, but we don't, we don't like the way that you think it's a hotel and you never clean and you never do washing. Can you get me some cold sparkling water, please? Yes, master. Thank you. Thanks. That's great. And if you have like some cold frozen berries. Did you want lemon squeezed or thrown? No, just. <laughs> Can you just do a slice of lemon? Yes. <laughs> Alistair. Also, I was just wondering. You're moving you... out. No, I was just wondering. So if you can get me a sparkling water with a slice of lemon. Um, if you've got San Pellegrino, I prefer that. Also, if you could do some ice, I'll have half cubes crushed and half cubed. If you could run along and get that. Yeah, uh, anything to snack. <laughs> yeah, I just said some frozen berries. Thanks, doll. Yeah. Thank you. You're a doll. You're a gem. Kisses. Kisses from far. <laughs> yeah. yeah. you ever change your hair color you know what I've been thinking about changing my hair color if you guys can think of some good colors for me to do just comment below and tell me like what sort of colors you think I should do would you recommend the married at first sight experience honestly I feel like I had a lot of fun with it like I had fun with filming and looking back at it now I feel like I've learned so much about myself um, in so many ways like I don't even know I couldn't even begin to explain because it would only like it wouldn't be able to highlight like how much I've actually learnt but I think I would recommend it to people who are quite sure of themselves and who have like a really thick skin and who can handle criticism I used to think I was one of those people until what's your relationship like with your mum it's so funny to watch on your stories all right she doesn't know this mum doesn't know this but like I'm obsessed with her She's like my favorite person that ever existed. She's so funny. She's also mean and horrible like when she wants to be, but we have a real, we're like friends. I wouldn't even say, it's strange. It's like not a mother and daughter relationship. I tell her everything, like everything. Michael's gonna die at that, but I tell her everything. Knowing Jess and Dan's secret, did you ever feel you wanted to tell anyone about it? Well, since we're spilling the tea, I did want to tell Tamara about it and I even went to one of the producers and said, you know, like, I'm going to tell Tamara, you know, I can't, I really like Tamara and I think it's not fair, like, someone needs to tell her. I told Jess and Jess kept saying she was going to tell her. Um, I said to the producer, I'm going to tell Tamara and I wasn't allowed to. I was told I'm not allowed to tell Tamara, it's going to ruin the storyline and then all our reactions are going to be not as natural as if she doesn't know. So basically I did want to tell Tamara yes, but I wasn't allowed to. What is your hair care routine and do you have hair extensions? Guys, this is all my real hair. I mean, it's so frizzy. Who could would think that hair extensions would look like this? But my regime, my hair regime, most times, like nine times out of 10, I keep it natural. Like this is natural, just out of the shower. I just let it dry. And I put about like 70 different products in it. And then I sort of apply a little bit of heat, but not too much. Are you still close with Jess and Ines? Um, I mean, I speak to Ines a lot. We uh, talk, we talk, but I mean, Jess, I haven't really spoken to her. Um, just very randomly here and there on Instagram. But no, I wouldn't say I'm still close with Jess. Do you think you are in love with Michael? Yes, I'm obsessed with Michael. I literally, like want to like squeeze him and be inside his cells all the time. I'm obsessed with him. How do you lose weight within a short amount of time? Restrict your calories heavily and drink heaps of water and walk and take heaps of salt baths. Dad, I can hear you. Do you have any siblings? 
I have a sister, she's 27, her name's Sophie, and I have a brother, his name's Nick, and he's 21, it's actually his birthday, we are going for pizza soon. Um, my siblings, like my brother and sister, hate Instagram, they don't, they rarely post, they don't really have many photos, they're just really, they, they think they're too cool for Instagram, basically. I'm pretty sure they've both blocked me from Instagram. <laughs> How much did you get paid to do maths? You don't get paid to do maths, honey. I know, stupid enough to do it for free. What type of stuff will you be posting on this channel? I have got so many good ideas that I'm gonna post on this channel. I feel like, I don't know if I should just tell you guys what the videos are or if I, like, you wait. What should I do? Should I tell them or wait? I'm obviously gonna do a makeup, one, a makeup video, a skincare video. But I didn't want it to be like boring where I just sit here and do my own makeup. I feel like comment below and let me know. Do you guys want me to do my makeup or do you guys want to see me do more like fun stuff? Like maybe I get like my mum to do my makeup or like Michael to do my makeup. Let me know what you'd rather see. But I'm definitely going to be posting myself doing my own makeup and like skincare and stuff like that. 100%. But just curious as, what, as to what you guys might want to see. What is your thoughts on Cyrell when you first met her and after the experiment? I liked her. I still like her. I don't have an issue with Cyrell at all. I feel like the thing is we spoke after the reunion, after the wine, we spoke. She texted me and, you know, I apologized to her and then she messaged me apologizing as well. Um, and then that just never, I think what happened was once the show started to air and she got, she got like this. I don't know, everyone was like Team Cyrell and everyone hated me and well not that they hated me but everyone was Team Cyrell and like anti me and I felt like she just sort of probably felt like an idiot like sort of reneging on that and sort of just stuck with the with the anti Martha clan. What has been the biggest hurdle you've had to overcome? 100% I can say it was dealing with the backlash after the show. Um, it was so hard, like just, you know, you say that you're not going to read the comments and people say, don't read them, just don't look at them. But honestly, it's like, it's, you can't control yourself. You just read the comments. And it was, it was really hard reading some of the comments. Like I was inundated with like death threats and just hate mail. Like the things that people wrote to me, like I've screenshotted some of it just to like keep. And sometimes I just look back and I just think how... What I don't know what I could have done to someone. It, if people wrote messages to me like so nasty, like you'd think I'd hurt their family members, all because of this show. I it was really hard for me to get through it. I feel like I spent so many days like literally just sitting on my bed and staring out the window, about to go crazy. But I think that was the biggest hurdle. I feel now I'm fine because I've learned so much. But at the time I felt like it was I was like falling into like an endless pit. Did you think you were condoning cheating on the show? I was not condoning cheating on the show because first of all, it was a fake marriage. Jess and Mick were not together. Jess and Mick had been living separately since I think like the second week that they met each other. Also, I'm pretty sure, no, I know for a fact Mick knew about Dan, didn't he babe? Yeah, Mick knew about Dan. Mick actually gave Dan his blessing and said, you know, she's all yours. So I don't, I don't um, think I was condoning cheating. If anything, I was supporting a friend. But the reality of it is Mick knew the whole time and he kind of, he, t he gave Dan his blessing. Can you spell subscribed? Hmm. I don't know. What do I do? Am I in the right spot? No, because your head's covering B. So you need to be shorter. I can't be. Like... Yeah. Spell subscribe. Subscribe. Could you give me the definition, please? Subscribe. Arrange to receive something, typically a publication, regularly by paying in advance. Could you put it in a sentence? 
swipe up to subscribe to my channel. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Subscribe. Subscribe. Ah, oh. S U B S C R I B E. Subscribe. Very good. Can spell subscribe. Can say it too.